Miles, 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 Miles. Welcome to what is today? Tuesday afternoon. It feels like Thursday, man. It's been a long week already. It usually feels this way. Hey, I'm going to talk to you about acronyms, Miles. You're going to get a sale climb. I was looking at a CBS today, and I was like, "What's CBS mean? You know, is it?" Three people's names, whatever. I've worked for places that have acronyms. HNTB, ACC, ACAS. And, and then you're going to get a sale by the instant messaging world. WTF, um, BTW, by the way, uh, LOL, Laugh Out Loud, all kinds of nonsense. But I'm just going to tell you, you have a pretty cool little uh, acronym there. It's a bit striking, but it's nice. It's mad. I'm Jad, your mom's cat, and then Zad. And if there was someone named Bill that was Bill Alfonso to me, that would be bad, and that would be bad. But I just want you to be aware that this world is so full of acronyms that when you really start getting a handle of the language and you get older, you're going to really have to dig in there and get all these acronyms figured out because they're just, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know why you need to shorten up things so much, you know, it's like refrigerator. Just say refrigerator. I don't need to hear fridge. Uh, you don't need to be BW, B, B, BCW. You don't need to FYI me. Um, you don't need to LOL me. Just laugh, man. Don't tell me you're laughing out loud. Just laugh and I'll just imagine that you're laughing. You know what I'm saying, Miles? So, uh, yeah, be careful about the uh, floating acronyms, you know? They're, uh, they're insidiously deceptive sometimes, but at the same time, they can be decisively novel. Be very careful with my own.